Welcome back to my DIY channel. Before any tile work it's important to have either a cement board or decoupling membrane under your tiles. I chose cement board, first lay out your cement board and make cuts wherever necessary. In the next step, I will show you how to cut cement board using a scoring knife which is made to cut cement board manually without the need of any heavy tools. I did all my cuts using the scoring knife, yes you have to score a couple of times in the same spot in order to be able to snap the cement board, but for cheap DIY tool, it did the job for my project. Keep watching this video till the end to see end to end process. I kept running my scoring knife up and down the line ensuring that I am actually making deep scratches. Continue making deep scratches by following your marked line until you see that you have visible deep scratch on your entire marked line. Once you made your score, put the end you want to snap at a little higher surface so that you could push and snap your cement board. When I was cutting my first board, I did struggle a bit as I could not snap the board fully and I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. Then, I figured out that if you flip your board and score on the flip side as well, everything snaps easier. Finally, I was able to remove the cut part. We learn as we go and I am sharing what I learned from my experience as a first-time DIYer. It fits perfectly. Keep watching to learn more.
It is always nice to have a clean bucket of water to wash your mixing paddle, it helps to remove any cement that may dry out during the waiting period. Do not add any water once you mixed your cement and waiting for additional 1 minute mixing. Only mix as much as you think you may need, good rule of thumb, half a bag gave me enough working time. Apply your cement under each section one at a time and spread it evenly. I used a quarter inch by quarter inch notch trowel to even out the cement. I applied enough cement for one piece of cement board and screwed them down using the screws made for Wonderboard cement board. Firmly press the cement board in place and if possible you can walk on them gently to remove any air bubbles if any. Another pro tip that I learned, take a wet sponge and wet your plywood to avoid for your cement to suck out and absorb all the moisture from the thin set. Not a bad idea at all. Continue applying thin set section by section ensuring your boards are firmly in place. In the next step you will see how to screw the cement board down to even further strengthen the bond. Don't listen to those who say you don't need both, pros only use both, thin set and sews. Make sure your screws are made for the cement board application otherwise they may rot and cause future tile issues. Another tip, these wonder boards have black dots on them where you drive the screws, no need to measure. But if you have to measure ensure it's about 6 to 8 inches apart and 2 inches from the corners.
After half of the room was done, I had to mix another batch of cement. This is the best practice for any DIYers out there as you may take longer to spread cement and lay your board. No need to rush, you need to do it right and fast, especially if you are new at this like myself and are a homeowner DIYer. Thanks for watching so far, please watch tile the end to see the whole process. Hit the like button if you are enjoying this video and subscribe if you have not done so. Hit the bell icon for any future video uploads. Appreciate all and any of your support. Try mixing the thin set slowly and follow the exact instructions on the type of thin set you are using. Muppe Modified Thin Set was a good product for my DIY project and would recommend. Not promoting any product. Just honest DIY opinion. Again, as a precautionary measure. Make sure you wet your plywood before applying any thin set. This will ensure your plywood won't suck out the moisture from cement leaving it to dry and crack prematurely. I have definitely learned this from pros and would recommend to any DIYers like myself. The next section I have slowed down the video so any DIYers can closely see the process of applying thin set before cement board as well as using screws. Keep watching till the end. Thanks. Again, I'm using the uh, one fourth by one fourth quarter inch uh, notch trowel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spread my cement. So make sure. Well, you have marked my line so I know which piece goes where, so I don't have to unnecessarily put the cement in there. It might dry out on me. The idea now is to just spread your cement. As a new DIYer, I always want a detailed close-up look of videos of all the how-tos. That's why I was inspired to record my home renovation as a DIYer and share my videos with the world in detail.
of marks. You can fill the voids as you go, she feels this is not enough. That's the piece of cement board that I've already cut. I'm just gonna estimate the seat. It should, or it should fall. Just fit the side. One inch, one, one eighth inch gap down here.
Once you are ready to set your board in place, make sure it's first aligned within the spot before you could drop it down. It's okay to collapse it to remove any air bubbles but you don't want to drag it left to right and move all your thin set that is underneath the board. Again, don't forget to leave 1 8 inch gaps around the parameters as well as between your boards which we will fill in the last section of this DIY video. Another reminder, please make sure you are not skipping this step and using galvanized screws made for cement board to secure them in place. You are basically creating a perfect base for your tiles, if using cement board. Pockets. Spread nice. Just gonna continue. I want to make sure it's uh, there's no bump, uh, and then we also want to make sure it's not. Sometimes I just want to. Uh, Keep going this, spread the, the sheet there.
Once you completed screwing down all your cement boards, the next step is to use the self-adhesive mesh tape made for cement board application and apply it to all your joints. Apply the tape and firmly press them in place, it's sticky enough and sticks to the cement board right away. Continue taping all your joints using the self-adhesive tape. Once completed you can go to the next step in this video. Once you've finished applying the mesh tape, now it's time to fill inside in 2 inches parameters on each side of the mesh. Using the flat side of the trowel, apply the leftover thin set and fill inside the mesh tape by firmly applying pressure ensuring the thin set is being pressed inside.
It is very important to flatten your thin set ensuring there are no high spots. Use the flat side of the trowel to level the thin set off. If you do this right, you won't have any issues tiling later on. Continue this process until you complete and fill all the gaps with thin set. Once completed, you can wait 24 hours or the amount of time given on the instructions on your cement bag. Just to recap. Start by laying out your cement board preferably in a brick pattern shape if possible if not, use a pattern that would at least avoid all four joint corners to meet as this will avoid any buckling up when floors would move. The reason you need cement board or a decoupling membrane is to avoid any tile cracking issues as the floor moves with weather changes and in contracts and expands, this will ensure your tiles are moving the cement board hence your tiles will last for a long time. Mix your thin set according the instructions and preferably apply it using a 1 quarter notch by 1 quarter notch trowel evenly. Place your cement boards, press them firmly or slowly walk on them to move any air bubbles. Screw them down with special screws made for cement board, this will ensure it won't rot. Do not use drywall screws. Using mesh tape cover your joints and fill them with thin set mortar. Once completed, let them try and it will be ready for tiling. I hope you guys enjoyed my DIY video, I have many more videos to upload all related to home renovations which are inspiration. I am a rookie and would share any rookie steps with any DIYers. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.